Here with head coach Penny Collins. Coach, you got back in the win column tonight, took down Southern Indiana 79-74. Just talk about your guys' effort and energy tonight. Oh, well, first of all, Southern Indiana is a really good team, real coach. Uh, Stan does a great job with them. Um, Hernandez is, he's elite. Man, I've never seen nobody be able to draw as many fouls as he can. He's like a little Ginobili. But um, proud of my the resiliency our guys showed tonight. They came out, had the lead the first half. It was a back and forth game. We had a chance uh, to kind of stretch it out. They fall back again, and we, and we didn't hang our heads. We made some key plays down the stretch, especially on the defensive end, uh, to win the game. Uh, what can you say about the play of uh, A.J. Belger? It's, it's kind of like he found himself through this game, you know, hitting shots, attacking the rim, playing with a lot of energy tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's a veteran. He's a, he's a guy that's played for. He was a college basketball already, and we, we trust him. Even though his role has changed and coming off the bench, we, his minutes have not, have, have not changed or uh, his uh, role hasn't changed. We still want him to be aggressive, scoring. And uh, that goes to show you we had, he scored 21, but we had 50 points off the bench tonight. And that's the strength of our team. Now, Jalen Jones came in off the bench, of course, uh, but he, he kind of, you know, conducted the offense uh, for the majority of the game. Of course, Kenny got in foul trouble. Uh, what can you say about his play and more specifically the last two plays defensively uh, that he made? Well, just him. The only thing that's been his Achilles heel is just valuing the ball. And you're seeing the more game experience he's getting, the more he's valuing the ball. We keep him on the floor because we believe in uh, him, Fitzgerald, Justin. We got three guys we can run the offense through to, to, to conduct our team. Uh, tonight, it was Jalen. Jalen was playing great, so we stuck with him. He, he made some great reads. And then defensively, for him to just to have that kind of moxie as a freshman, to, to be disciplined enough to get those to get his hands on those loose balls and come up with the steals and make big free throws all together, says a lot about him. Now, another guy off the bench, Michael Shanks. Uh, the energy tonight, uh, just a, a few plays offensively, defensively, off, uh, offensively on broken plays, you know, definitely making some things happen. What can you just say about just the winning plays that he made tonight? Uh, just like EJ, he's, he's an experienced guy. He's, a, he's been around winning. He, he, he knows what it takes. And uh, at the end of the day, it's about production. And I, I told him, like, he, he has an easy role. You can come in and change the trajectory of the game with your energy. He brought that energy tonight. That, that slam that he made late in the game, that was so crucial for us, not only for us um, on the scoreboard, but just for our energy uh, in the crowd. And it, it gave us just some pop to get some more stops right there in, in, in the important part of the game. And now, of course, this win uh, stops in one game slide. How big was it to get this win at home in front of the home crowd? Yeah, it's really big. I, I look at it a little differently. We won five out of our last six. I don't, I don't really look at it like we, we uh, are breaking a, uh, a one game slide. Um, we, we, we're breaking this season down into parts. And we're looking at this now in this back nine is a new season. And today we went 1-0. Uh, we want to see how good we can be in the second uh, second half of the OBC play. Good. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you.